still don't know where they're coming from. With the biologic, uh... type aliens, we're going to actually want to not kill them, if possible. Okay. So that we can try and stun one and take it back for, uh... Interrogation. But we don't know where any other aliens are. Which, um... Definitely gonna make the process here difficult. Okay, floaters. Floaters uh, are stunnable, but they don't have enough health to, um, or they have too much health for us to stun, and also when they're flying it's not really going to be an option, I don't think. I mean, we can still try. Yeah, no, when they're in flight, it's, um, not gonna be an option. But you do not have a strong shot against the flying one. You have a decent one. 78% chance to hit. And I'm thinking, let's actually try to do a disabling shot, if possible. Just prevent him from shooting. While simultaneously getting his health low enough that he cannot... that he is possible to be stunned. Um, incidentally, I think what we want everyone to do here is kind of just hunker down in mass while we get our assaults, who actually carry the arc thrower, closer. And I'm talking like really significantly closer. So... Eroa, I want you heading up there. They can't use the arc thrower after, uh... doing the run and gun thing, so... it's best to run and gun now while they'll be unable to use the arc thrower and then try to use it later after they're in position you two run and gun Okay, well, that's going to make things more difficult for us. By... a lot. Technically, though, we could like, um... try to take out the, uh... we could try to take the mutons in alive 
and you have a strong shot on him. Okay. You should overwatch. Uh, you have a shot on the Muton. Will rapid fire increase the chance of success with that? I'm pretty sure it will, but that's still not a very good chance, but take a shot at the Muton. Or two. I suppose that's not that surprising. And you... Well, okay. Let's see if we can protect our people with smoke grenades. Uh, I think overwatches are in order at the moment. Given there are too many bogeys. Okay, okay. That... Yeah, bad things happened. Turin is... kind of hurt... pretty badly. And... we... can get her into what looks like position to try and stun. But it'll be risky if she gets shot again. I'll take that risk. Ah, figures. Stun is not an option. Well, can we move any of our people into position to... No. No, not this turn. That bastard. You've actually got decent shots on the mutons, and those guys are the biggest threat to us, so... I would say definitely try to kill them if possible. Um... Fifty-nine and sixty-nine. Uh, take a shot at fifty-nine up there. Who knows, we might be able to kill. Okay. Now. Turin is still in a very bad position. And you know what? I'm not sure if we can find her a spot that's actually safe. So... Honestly, best option might just be to, uh, go for the kill. Uh, 
I'm gonna risk it though. And have a bit of an Overwatch party. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll decide not to move because of all the Overwatches. Damn it, it did a double move. I shouldn't shouldn't have overwatched. Well, there's still another floater around here somewhere, I think. In God knows where. Okay, well. Turin. Um, I'm gonna need you to meet up halfway with Ankod for death avoidance treatments. After all, he is your doctor. Uh, the other assaults should move up. And with... Supposedly... One floater left... We actually cannot afford to uh, kill it if it reappears, so I'm going to just order everyone to hunker down. Try real hard not to get killed. And... Uh, It's okay. It's okay. She can take it. Edberg's a big girl. Who... can't exactly... reach him in time for, uh... Jesus Christ, you do not have a good chance on that disabling shot. I mean, I get that sniper rifles are better for long distance attacks, but seriously, come on. That's ridiculous. Okay, uh, all things considered, Edberg. Maybe we should, uh, move you a little bit, and heal you, as well, for that matter. Ah. More floaters. I see. Well, you up there, I was going to try to keep you alive, but, um, turns out... Don't really need you alive anymore. So... We really need to kill this floater though. Or else the whole team's going to be in jeopardy. What kind of animation was that? Okay, well... At this point, I think the primary tactic is... Go 
try to get one of them alive because we seriously need to get one of them alive it's actually good that he did that though okay 